But what if I told you there's an easy way to send emails right from Excel? This doesn't even include macros or complicated formulas, just a simple formula that's going to automate your email sending. Without further ado, let's see how we can do this. Okay, we start by opening up our Excel sheet and the way that you need to set it up is to have somehow a name over here. So I have a customer's name, the corresponding email. So that needs to be complete and added here. Then you can have different kind of messages here that you want to send. So I have an overdue amount and a message body that we will come to a little bit later. And then for this particular set of emails, I'm going to be sending a message subject that is exactly the same. And I'm going to be CCing my boss as well. So if you want to send different message subjects or you want to CC different people, you can always add these two lines into your table here and add columns right here if you want. Now, let's go along and have a look at how we're going to send this. And I've split this down into four different parts so we can understand the syntax and it's just going to make it easier for you. So let's just go along here and this link is called open email. How did we get this link is we simply type in the equals hyperlink formula. And once you have the hyperlink formula, you open up the bracket and then double quotes mail to colon and then we're going to put the email address here. Now we're going to change this to the cell reference and I'll show you how to do that but I just wanted to show you that just to see that it's just an email address that we're sending it to. To make it dynamic we're going to add a cell reference and the last part of the hyperlink is something called a friendly name and that's simply what you want the link to be called when you click it. So in our case, we're going to call it open email and we're going to have a look at how this works. So now let's just have an example. Let's click into the email that's going to open up your email. Now I'll show you in a moment how to change your email to a different email if you want. But for right now, we have the email come up and you can see that we have the two right here. OK, so now we just don't want to change that. We don't want to save it. Let's go back. So instead of just opening up an email, we are now going to have a subject. So let's just go. Just going to close this for now so we can have a look at it more carefully. Let's go to the second one. And now we get a little bit more tricky and we get into the dynamic of this formula. So we start off with a hyperlink. We also go to the mail too. Now you notice here we have a double quote. We have an ampersand. And the B5 is the cell reference right here. And another ampersand, we close this with a double quote. Now you can remove all of this and just comma add subject. That would continue being exactly the same as the open email. But we are now going to add a subject. And to add a subject, we add a question mark right here. Subject equals. And once again, double quotes. And we have the and amber science sign right here and we have the cell d1 and now i've locked the cells here by pressing f4 but if i press f4 you'll see that we go back to not having it we can simply use that if we want to use the cell reference we don't need to lock it if we have it for example within our table so just f4 we're going to lock the cells and now the last is add a subject so once again let's click into it and see what happens we are going to open up our email and we have the email there and we have the subject. So let's move on to the third syntax, which is adding a subject and CCing somebody. Okay, in our last example, we have the same formula hyperlink and we stopped right here when we have the self reference. Now, once again, what we need to do is we start with an ampersand, a double quote, and an ampersand again and we have a cc equals double quote ampersand and once again we have the d2 locked reference over here for this cell which has the cc email and again we have a subject and a cc which is the last part of the hyperlink and if you want to add 
two or more CC, you simply need to add them here with a comma. That's how your email would read it as different people. And then we press enter. So let's click onto that quickly. And we can see that now it's opened up to a CC as well as the title. Now let's do our final one and see how we can send a full email. So to send the full email, what we're adding here is simply the body part of it. So all we do is we've come over all the way to the CC and we have another ampersand, double quote and body equals, here we go and D5, and D5 is where we're going to build the message out. And I'm gonna show you how to build that out nicely. So let's just open this quickly. Now you find here, you have the name and we want this to be dynamic. So we have Dear Samina Gori. What we want to do, and you see the formula here, is it is a cell reference, it's not the actual name. So when you drag this formula, you can use that with any of your other emails. So it's dear, so equals dear, double quote. So when it's in double quotes, it's your text. Now to make it dynamic, it's an ampersand, A5, which is a cell reference, another ampersand. And there we go, we add a double quote again. And that gives us a friendly reminder, your account is overdue by dollar. And once again, we want to add another cell dynamically. So it's an double quote, ampersand, cell reference, Ampersand. Now we have another double quotes and we have a little bit of text within another double quote. When you press enter, you can see Dear Samina Gori, you have the message, your account is overdue by 300. Now, if we simply go into the email, we'll have a look, let's click in the email, see what happens. When we open that, you can see we have everything we wanted, the two, the CC overdue as well but you can see that the message is not very clear. So we are going to add some line breaks here and I'll show you how to do that right in Excel. Okay, so we just go back right here. Now to add a line break, you need a simple formula and that will be added just inside of the double quote. So you press a percentage sign, a zero and an A, the letter A, that adds a line break, but let's add two line breaks. So we have a zero, percentage zero and A, and that's going to add two line breaks for us. So once again, let's quickly go back and check what happens. We only have a line break in the first sentence and we want to also have a line break from please onwards. We're gonna do that again. So how do we do that? Go back after the $300. We have please here and just let's add percentage zero A and we'll do two line breaks. So we have percentage zero A and press enter and let's click into it and see what happens. And there you go. You have an email there with all your information and line breaks as well. Okay, so now I'm just going to show you Right now, I have my email set as Outlook, but you may want to have it set as Gmail or something like that. So on Windows, you'd simply need to go down and into your settings. Okay, let's type in settings right here. And when we get to our settings, we'll have our home page right here on our Windows. We go down to apps and then we choose default apps right here. Once we choose default apps, we want to type in a mail to, that is going to bring up our um, URL, which takes you to the correct program of email that you want. Now I want Outlook, but you may want to change this. So let's just click into this. And that also helps you to choose a default mail app. If you're looking for that, Google, Google Chrome, Edge, Outlook, or you can browse any other software that you want to use for your email to send from Excel. Okay, we're back into our sheet. Now we can just simply drag the formula down. You can see that it brings over the data dynamically. And if you want, we can simply just click this formula down. Let's go. So if we open up the email here, we can simply see that we have the second email right here. We have the overdue invoices and we also have the correct 
number here. So we have that working and of course we'll just go to the last one and have a look and just for our curiosity Louise Parker is going to go and get this overdue email by $150 which you need to settle. So I hope that this is something that you find very useful. I use it in my daily work and it really helps to automate a lot of emails and when you have different types of people that are changing always, different people to CC, different people to add. You're essentially just changing a few little bits of information so that you can send emails just dynamically and saving you a lot of time. Thank you for watching this video today. I hope that you've learned something new and if you did, I would appreciate a like and subscribe and until next time, happy spreadsheeting.